What's up collectors, thank you so much to see us. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the leak picture for Transformers Studio Series 86 by Yugo Rekgar. And for our first and only picture of Rekgar, because yes, this is the only picture that I have at the moment, so sadly this is going to be a small video, and I'm just going to try to break it down as much as I can, because I don't have much to work with, I only have this picture. But oh my god, I cannot believe he looks this good. As you can see, super accurate to his UR representation, the sculpted in detail, and the paint distribution looks off the shots. You can see that the red is where it's supposed to, and the yellow as well, as well as the orange. Everything is on their particular spots. And I cannot tell 100% if the paint job is, you know, 100% accurate due to the tone of the picture. Uh, but you can see that everything is where it's supposed to be. It's just sculpted in detail. You can see that the face school looks fantastic, super accurate as well. And zooming in on the picture itself so you can appreciate more of the sculpted in detail in the paint distribution that that area has so you can see everything is on the spot again the face looks amazing the chest looks up to charge everything looks super accurate to the g1 representation this guy looks so good that it looks like a masterpiece like as far as i can tell we have never had a red guard that looks this good as you can see it has everything every you know feature that makes red guard red guard you know you can see you know the spikes on the wheels you can see the face hair as well. You can see the, you know, the, the cannon nipples that he has on the chest. Not to mention the cross axe or the face coat looking like the front of the motorcycle mall. Like pretty much has everything that you can possibly ask for a red guard. And it just blows me away how accurate this figure is. Speaking of G1 accuracy, let's go ahead and compare it with his G1 representation. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and start from the top to the bottom. Starting with the face coat, you can see that pretty much everything is on the spot. The only major difference that I can tell is the horn. They're a little bit more smaller than, you know, the G1 representation. But this is me picking for the chest you can see that the laser nipples or whatever you want to call that is there so that's accurate as well you can see that the chest is pretty much the same thing the color distribution is amazing on the chest as well you can see the sculpted in detail just mimics the g1 representation really well moving on to the top section of the arms because you know the picture does not do you know justice to the arms you can barely pretty much see them uh but as you can see it has the boxy look and the color distribution is done well and last but not least the weapon and the legs looks fantastic you can see that you know it has the spice on the wheels as well as the color distribution is done well and for the cross axe it's just amazing you can see that it's red and on the middle is uh gray or white i cannot see you know the actual colors again it's kind of weird you know the picture is just kind of all over the place with the colors but for what i can see it looks amazing for the legs you can tell that they're mimicking really well the sculpted in detail of the gr representation it's pretty much exactly the same either in the top that is kind of off a little every line every little detail is on the spot pretty much everything is exactly the same you can see the wheel is on the same spot as well and just pretty much the whole figure is completely accurate we already know that out of this mall they're gonna repaint and retool a couple of more junkions and honestly i don't mind it's pretty much kind of the point but i'm really really hoping that every single one of them had you know that cop feature that you can pretty much break the whole figure apart and just mix and match pieces from different figures so i am crossing my fingers that that is possible but i guess only time will tell but this brings us to the end of the video what are your thoughts about red guard we're gonna get red guard and then junkyard on 2022 so what are your thoughts are you gonna pick them both or you're gonna pass on them so i am really interested to know your opinion on the subject so leave that on the comments down below i'm gonna make another video whenever i get pictures of the vehicle mode as well as the robo mode but with that being said it's pretty much it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like it really helps you the algorithm and how's my videos get out there in a while so if you get anything anybody in my content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video but this is pretty much it for transformers studio series 86 boyager red car